What's the old adage? Home prices should double in value every seven to 10 years. Well, the national average is well above that, but the Gold Coast is keeping pace. According to PopTrack's latest data, national home prices took 15 years to double in price. Well, the Southern Gold Coast has blown those numbers out of the water, with Tally Valley leading the way, taking only four years to double while the beachside suburbs of Miami, Burley Waters, and beautiful Palm Beach took only six years. And when it comes to units, it took even longer, with national median prices taking 18 years to double in price. And once again, the Gold Coast has left that number in its dust, taking only seven years in Palm Beach for the median price to double in value. And the question is, can the Gold Coast continue this rate of rapid increases in prices? Well, Tom Tate in his recent board meeting said, the Gold Coast will absolutely surpass 1 million people before the Brisbane Olympics. With this massive population growth, it can only provide further pressure on the low supply of houses we have available on the Gold Coast. But when will affordability become too much to bear? It's over to you. I wanna hear what your thoughts are. A huge sigh of relief for mortgage holders all over Australia, with the RBA holding interest rates in July, only the second time they've done so since May of last year. The infamous RBA governor, Philip Lowe, said we passed our peak in inflation, with the inflation rate lowering from 6.8% to 5.6%. This is a great sign, but I wouldn't go jumping for joy, because he did provide a caveat saying we may need further hikes to get to their target of two to 3%. What July's hold does show is a glimmer of light at the end of this rapid interest rate hike tunnel. And with Commonwealth Bank even saying they only forecast one more 25 basis point rise before it stabilizes completely. But it's over to you. What are your thoughts on what the RBA should do moving forward? And more importantly, what should they do? I think I speak for every Gold Coast local that the M1 roadworks from Burley to Palm Beach have been what seems like an endless disaster. And I was thinking, what are we actually doing? So I did a deep dive and let's dive into it. What I've gathered is there's two major pillars to these roadworks, and that's widening the M1 to three lanes all the way from Burley to Chugan, and providing a Western service road that'll run from Talabudra all the way to 19th Ave in Palm Beach, providing better access to the highway and an alternative if it's backed up like it is now. These works are easier said than done. With two estuaries to cross at Talabudra and Kurumban, it will require six new bridges plus the widening of existing bridges. That's why it's gonna cost a pretty sum of $1 billion. Two other bits of information that I found important, whereas one, they're replacing the entire surface with an asphalt that'll be much quieter, and they're also preserving a corridor for the heavy rail to go through at a future date. But it's over to you. Are all these works and headaches of traffic along the M1 worth it with an open date at earliest of 2024? We got a lot of headaches ahead. <music>